This is Taryn for One on Hip Hop Revisited. Here are the top six former XXL freshmen who haven't lived up to their hype. With every XXL freshman class, there's bound to be MCs included who will eventually flop. That's just the nature of trying to predict who will break out in the sea of up-and-coming rappers. Since the magazine began the now prestigious list back in 2008, we've seen several former freshmen fall off, so we've selected a few who we feel didn't live up to their potential. Class of 2010 once signed to Foods Gold and Atlantic Records, Donis seemed to fizzle out pretty quickly. His Diary of an ACL Brave tape got a fair amount of buzz, as did his single Gone, but just about two years after he appeared on the cover, he seemed to stop releasing music altogether. He still got a verified uh, Twitter account and says his next project will be a fuck you to everyone sponsored by Foods Gold, so maybe we'll be eating our words in a year. Class of 2011? A hallmark of each new freshman class seems to be the New York rapper that no one outside of the city has heard of. As XXL's based in New York City, it's understandable that they want to give shine to local guys who've been grinding hard for years. But hopefully they won't give us another Troy Ave or Fred the Godson this year. Fred's never had a solo track crack a million plays on YouTube, and aside from guest spots on songs by Jada Kiss and Jim Jones, he's never really had opportunities to pop up on anyone else's radars. Class of 2011 also has the rapper chosen for this list, Little Twist. He's probably the one that everybody can agree on. Seemingly only chosen as a freshman for his famous friends, Lil Wayne and Justin Bieber, the young money signee hasn't been popping since he was 10, and his novelty song, The Texas Twist, had Dallas going crazy for a minute. In the years that have followed, Twist has been in the news more for his criminal activity than his music. Again. Class of 2010. Pill's probably the most glaring example of a one-hit wonder on this list. His trap going ham was huge and led to a ton of notable co-signs and a deal with Maybach Music Group. But for whatever reason, he wasn't able to capitalize on its success. Class of 2008. Similar to Gorilla Zoe in that he was a southern rapper with a few hits under his belt by the time he made it on the cover, Rich Boy also had a successful run in his own right. Throw some D still gets the party jumping, but most would be hard pressed to name another one of his songs. Class of 2008 also holds Atlanta's Gorilla Zoe. He had a pretty great run, but the curtain closed on that a long time ago. Emerging as a street rapper alongside Young Jock with the hit Coffee Shop, Zoe has seen his career take a similar turn to Jock's recently. He even ventured into some Kid Cudi style emo rap with Lost and Echo a few years ago, but it didn't seem like he could flip that into commercial success. Unfortunately, XXL included him on the list when he was right in the middle of a hot streak that was only a few years ago. Please make sure to go to oneonhiphop.com for more info and all of your entertainment needs.